Just about every day, problems can come up with your friends, family, and schoolmates. When you have a problem, what do you do? I was here first. I was here first. I was. I was. No, I was. I was. Some people fight when they have a problem. Little monsters? and people too. But there are lots of ways to solve problems without having to fight. We can show you five ways to work things out without fighting. Fighting is never fun, and it's not safe either. And fighting never really solves a problem. Fighting just makes things worse. Let's find out ways to solve problems. Let's go. One day, Jen woke up late. It was a school day and she'd have to hurry to make the bus. She gathered up her homework, books, pencils, and other things she needed for school and stuffed it all inside her backpack. And then she ran out the door to the bus stop. Meanwhile, Lucy was already at the bus stop. When the bus arrived, Lucy got in line, got on the bus, and took a seat by herself. Jen made the bus just in time and sat down next to Lucy. Jen didn't have time for breakfast, so she looked through her backpack for a granola bar. But as she looked through her backpack, her elbow hit Lucy. It was an accident, and Jen didn't even know she did it. Lucy didn't say or do anything about it. But all of a sudden, Jen remembered that she had to bring her money in for the field trip. Her mom put an envelope with the money inside on the kitchen table last night. Did she remember to put it inside her backpack? As she looked through her backpack, her elbow kept poking Lucy. Jen wasn't paying attention, and Lucy thought she was doing it on purpose and got mad. So she decided to poke Jen back with her elbow. Jen got mad and poked Lucy on purpose. Pretty soon, they were poking each other back and forth, back and forth, and it hurt. Ow, stop poking me. You stop poking me. You stop first. You stop, you started it. Little problems can easily turn into a big fight, but it doesn't have to happen that way if you keep your hands down and use your words. Let's see how Lucy and Jen could avoid a fight and solve the problem before it starts when they keep their hands down and use their words. Hey, why'd you poke me? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Hey, you're poking me again. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to look for something. Can I help? Sure. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. <laughs> you go. You go. You go. No. You go. Whee! When you have a problem with someone else, you don't have to hit or poke each other. Remember, hands down and use your words. Lucy told Jen that she was poking her. Jen told her it was an accident. Use your words. 
talk to each other. It's a great way to work things out. It's easy to get angry. It's easy to get mad. It's easy to hit someone and make them feel bad. So why not work together and work things out? It's easy when you use your words and talk. Lots of times, people get mad at things, even when they don't know what really happened. And then they can blame and call names. You took my cupcake. Did not. Did too. Did not. When you blame, it makes people mad, and that can cause fights. That's what happened one day when Danny came home and found his older brother Alex and a friend playing with a race car set. Right away, Danny thought it was his race car set. Danny got angry and started to yell at his brother. Hey, these are mine. You took them without asking. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. They're not yours. Yes, they are. You took them. No, I didn't. When you blame, it can cause a fight. What could Danny have done so there wouldn't be a fight? Well, he could find out about what's going on. He could ask questions. Let's see how that could work. Here's Danny asking a question yeah, first. One. That's awesome. Let's try them with these cars. Hey, what are you guys doing? Joe Boy's race car set over. Really? It looks just like mine. No, oh, it's mine, but if you get yours, you can play too. This time, Danny did not blame Alex. He asked a question and found out that it was Joe's race car set. No fighting. No one got hurt, and everybody is happy. Everyone gets angry. You don't need to blame Don't need to call names Cause it only leads to fighting Fighting's not a game What can you do instead When anger's coming on Just ask a simple question Like what's going on You can ask questions And get answers too Ask questions first It's the smart thing to do When you have a problem, you can try an idea to solve it, but it may not work. And it may not be the idea that works for everyone. You may have to come up with different ideas. Give me the box, please. Send it up. OK. Keep your eye on the box. Hey, that hurt. You can't catch. You can't throw. You can't catch. You can't throw. One day, Grace and Sam were drawing pictures on the sidewalk with Grace's new sidewalk chalk. They were both having a good time. Then Sam wanted to use the blue colored chalk, but Grace was using it. Can I use the blue chalk? I'm using it now, but I need to finish my picture. Let me use it now and you could use it later. Grace didn't like that idea. Is there something else they can do? Why don't you draw another picture with another colored chalk? That's an idea. Does Sam like it? I don't want to. I want to finish this picture first. Sam didn't like Grace's idea. Is there an idea they both like? I know. Help me finish my picture and then you can finish yours. Okay. Grace and Sam came up with an idea to solve their problem. And they both liked it. Trying different ideas is a great way to solve a problem and stop a fight. 
You can come up with lots of ideas to solve problems. It's important to find the idea that works for everyone and makes everyone happy. That's how you can avoid a fight. Good idea! It's easy to get angry When things go wrong It's easy to argue and not get along But there's no need to fight There's no need to shout You can solve a problem Today we learned five ways to solve problems without fighting. Don't hit or poke each other. Keep your hands down. That's number one. Use your words and talk about the problem. That's number two. Number three, don't blame. That gets people mad. Ask questions, find out what's going on. That's number four. And number five, try different ideas to solve the problem. Find one that makes everyone happy. When you have a problem, you don't have to fight because now you know five great ways to work things out. Oh, and here's just one more thing to know. If you can't solve the problem yourself, ask a grown-up for help. That's another great way to work things out.